Hello and welcome back to Inside Out. My name is Kim Tree Slaughter and I'm a board certified psychotherapist and a certified Maxwell Leadership Coach, Speaker, and Trainer. I make educational and personal growth videos that activate you to change your beliefs and actions so that you can receive real results from the inside out. Before we get into this video, please like, share, 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 subscribe, and hit that notification bell for all things new to this channel. All right, today we're going to jump right into it. We are tackling a very popular conversation that's all over the internet, all over social media, gaslighting. If you want to know how to define it, what it looks like, and what you can do to prevent it, keep watching. So what is gaslighting and where did it come from? Well, the term gaslighting comes from a popular 1938 British stage play called, you guessed, Gaslight. This stage play was eventually turned into a movie in which a husband used trickery and manipulation to convince his wife that she was mentally unwell so that he could steal from her. How do we define gaslighting? To gaslight someone is to manipulate them into questioning their own sanity. You're like, I know that I know that I know, but do I know? If someone is gaslighting you, they are attempting to manipulate and undermine you. They are attempting to dilute or confuse your perception of the reality that you know is a reality. Their goal is to confuse you and cause you to question your self-worth and your overall ability to make solid decisions. So what does gaslighting look like in action? I'm glad you asked. People who gaslight you will number one, distort the truth. You know they are not telling the truth. You know they lie, but they seem to be so convincing. They're so convincing that you will begin to question yourself. They are loud and wrong. Number two, they will change the subject so as to not deal with the truth. You talking about how you how they stole your money and they like, well, why you left the money in the purple purse? It wouldn't have got stolen if it was in a purple purse. What? I don't care if it was in a blue, green, orange, purple, orange, cream, cream bag. Why are you stealing my money? Number three, they blame you for everything. Everything is your fault. It's always your fault. Oh, and don't try to express your feelings because you won't leave that conversation beating yourself up somehow. They're always going to twist and turn your feelings until they are not sure how you feel. And you are not sure how you feel. They gonna be clear on how they gonna twist them words up. They gonna twist them like a pretzel. Number four, they can twist a story like nobody's business. You be like, but you hit me. And they be like, nah, you ran into my fist. And you be like, did I run into her fist? Did I run into his fist? I don't know. Number five, they will kill you with kindness. Yep, they will pull that, stole those psychological weapons out. You be like, I heard you talking about me. They be like, no, you know I love you. I would never say anything negative about you. You my boo, you my best friend, you my blood. And you be like, yeah, right, I guess. How to know gaslighting is happening. How do you know when you're in the midst of the gaslighting fog? Number one, you question what you previous believed to be true. You knew it was true, and then you start questioning. Number two, you feel insecure around that person. Number three, you actually start to believe their side of the story. And even though you know that side of the story is wrong, you start to believe it. Number four, you feel confused. You don't know what's going on. Number five, you are the one who's always taking the blame and apologizing for things you know you did not do. So why do some people gaslight others? Well, according to Ganziele, the typical goal of the gaslighter is not just manipulation. That's a part of it. But power and control is a bigger part of it, typically with the misguided cooperation of the manipulated victim. This type of learned behavior is often rooted in psychopathy or personality disorder such as narcissistic personality disorder, antisocial personality disorder, or borderline personality disorder. Finally, how can you respond to these manipulative tactics. I got you. One, 
Remove them from your space. Because gaslighting can induce such intense emotions, it is important to remove these folk from your space so that you can breathe, you can ground yourself and you can think clearly. You can't think clearly when you're in the midst of a gaslighting cloud. Number two, set boundaries. Set boundaries, set boundaries. Boundaries clearly define to the other person what you will accept and what you will not accept. And it lets them know that you are not buying whatever it is that they're selling, period. You are not the one. You have never been the one, nor would you volunteer to be the one, okay? Number three, if they do not respect your boundaries, you gotta hit the Heisman, run. Do not allow them to gaslight you out of your boundaries because they will try. You deserve much more than that. And I know that's difficult, especially for family or someone you've been in a relationship for a long time, but you gotta do you, boo. Have you ever dealt with someone who was trying to gaslight you? If so, tell us about it. Tell us about it in the comments below. How did you respond and what tools did you put in place to prevent this behavior from happening again? Because sometimes it depends on the person who's gaslighting you. You can actually put these tools into place, but it's sometimes harder when it's family. So let us know what you did. All right, I hope this video was helpful. I look forward to reading your comments. I will see you all soon. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings upon blessings.